Uh, and thank you to the trade agency, uh, which has been uh, uh, key in, uh, in uh, allowing the second edition to, uh, to take place after the success of the uh, 2019 uh, edition. Uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, trade agency and other institutions have uh, uh, strongly supported and still uh, want to support uh, uh, this program, which by now involves uh, 10 different countries. Now, I have to say that before coming here, and I've been here in New York as a consul general only for a few months, I myself was not aware of how important the uh, New York ecosystem has become for new technology in terms of presence of accelerators, incubators, and, and, and startup. Um, and that's where I see and we see a, a huge potential for many of our brilliant uh, um, uh, enterprises. So let me also congratulate the Italian startup which are participating in this program and represent a really variety, a great variety of fields from data management to advanced technology, uh, smart hope gardening, uh, and many more. And, and we really looking forward to hear your uh, uh, pitches uh, uh, here and uh, uh, witness to your conversation with investors, equities uh, and American counterparts. Uh, what I want to say, uh, this is a message more for the Italians, if you want, but then I will have a message also for the American side, uh, is that uh, we have uh, a lot to learn about the New York or the American environment and expectations. And, and that's where our startup uh, can ideally become able to compete uh, for investments. Uh, we very well know this is a very highly uh, ferocious actually ferociously competitive uh, uh, market uh, so it's important uh, on the side of our start stop that truly don't lack creativity and talent also to to have the readiness to listen learn and adapt on the other side let me say that uh, everybody knows that new york is probably the most uh, italian city outside italy by quality um, and quantity. And still our Italian brand is very much linked uh, to the usual food, fashion, design, or art and beauty. Now, I think it's uh, uh, important, more important on the, on the contrary to highlight uh, our capabilities in terms of uh, technology and new technology broadly speaking uh, in, in industrial uh, terms a uh, few people know that still our main export to the us uh, is not food uh, it's pharmaceutical and uh, instrumental mechanics which has a meaning so uh, i believe that this is one more reason why occasions like this are important to put together uh, italian young companies on one side but also American investors, equities, and other companies, so that uh, uh, these uh, um, uh, capacities, uh, uh, this uh, uh, richness uh, and resources of our country are uh, better known on this side of the Atlantic, where at the end of the day, uh, uh, there is the money uh, looking for good investments to be made. So sorry for being long, but I wanted just to share how happy I am to, uh, to be here. I will try to follow uh, this event uh, as long as possible. Thank you again. Thank you very much and enjoy your demo day. Great, thank you so much for your opening remarks. Um, that was wonderful. And with this, I would love to pass it on to um, the Italian Trade Agency Director, uh, Antonino Laspina. Good morning, everybody. I'm really delighted to be here today. I would like to thank also the Consul General for sharing with us a few moments of his uh, very ethic day. Uh, I'd like to express my satisfaction as well for uh, having uh, 
terminated, we'll say, with all the partners, this uh, second experience uh, of the global startup program of the Italian Trade Agency and the Minister, uh, Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. It is a moment of great satisfaction because uh, we have been uh, showing that we are resilient because we started the second edition without knowing what could be the conditions of operating. Nevertheless, we were able, thanks to the uh, strong determination of uh, all the partners, to identify a new system of conducting this uh, experience of the Global Startup Program. The first edition, uh, compared to the second edition, was quite easy, very normal. We were operating in a normal context. So the people and the companies, they were able to come to the United States to have uh, the course and to have the pitch and the contact with any kind of investor and partners and everything was as smooth as oil. We had no experience on how to conduct this uh, exercise in the era of the COVID. But we have succeeded because we see now that whatever was supposed to be done has been done. I think that the Italian companies have been able to enjoy the full support and the project that was defined since the beginning with the ERA. Uh, and I will take the opportunity, of course, to express my gratitude to ERA staff and particularly to Mr. Murat. Of course, Simone Tarantino has been part of this project. Uh, so Yuong Shin has been part of this project. But what is important is that uh, um, we were able to define a new scheme and now we can see that this has been successful. Why I think it's been successful? Because now we are at the final moment, we are in a position to get in touch, at least for the Italian companies, with uh, the final partners, the potential investors. And this event of today is proving that we can overcome any kind of difficulties, but we are able to uh, define new schemes of operation. We hope that for the third edition that we are on which we are working on right now, there will be no need of uh, uh, having this kind of uh, new format, new formulas, because of course we have to prefer always the in-person activity. But I think that some activities that are going to follow this event, maybe we can take advantage of the fact that uh, the companies the, from Italy, they could travel here, and we can come out with some event that will give the Italian companies the chance to get in touch in person with the investors. For the moment, let's uh, enjoy this moment. Let's have this opportunity. Uh, everybody knows the way has been organized, that after this uh, general session, there will be some uh, individual sessions. And I hope that uh, also thanks to the skills and the competence developed during the course provided by ERA, the Italian companies will be able to hit the target uh, at the heart of the investors and uh, secure the uh, expected money and capitals in order to transform what is at the moment is a dream in a real project in a real company. Thank you very much for your attention. And as a Italian Trade Commission, with all my staff, we confirm our, our availability for any kind of need that is going to come from your activity in this market. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your words, Director Laspina. Uh, that was wonderful. And with this, I would love to invite our um, Managing Director and Co-Founder of Entrepreneurs Roundtable Accelerator, Murat, to the stage, the virtual stage. Uh, thank you, Shua. Uh, I would love to thank Consul General and Director Laspina for their remarks. Obviously, uh, they are the main drivers of this project. And I would also especially like to point out the amazing efforts of uh, our partners, Valeria Soldani and Sebastiano Marchese. They made this program happen with their hard work. And I also need to highlight again that Simone Tarantino worked with us and ITA and the companies. So he's kind of like the hero of this program. We are very privileged to work with these companies and as we all know, companies that work very hard and pay attention to the US market, they can successfully enter the market, get customers and raise money. So we are here to support them ongoing. So I'll make this really short. 
but also uh, I would like to thank our program manager, Sho, for her amazing efforts and for all of our lead mentors and the mentors. And I think now I will pass it back to Sho. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Murat. And um, as uh, Murat just mentioned, I would love to invite our uh, wonderful partner and advisor to the Italian trade agency, Simone Tarantino, to uh, open with our first company. Thanks, Joe. Uh, thank you for the hard work in the program uh, and to all the people that spoke uh, before me. So good afternoon to all the attendees here today. Uh, every company you'll see here uh, really put the time in understanding markets and opportunities. And I can honestly say each one of these founders really grew a lot during this program. Uh, the first company pitching today is revolutionizing the way corporate connects with clients and customers using Italian food as an experience to create a bond that can go beyond just the business. It is Noemi from uh, Makaturo. Hi, my name is Noemi. I'm the export manager for Makaturo. Makaturo, mm, Makaturo is the experience of a real Italian milk kit with high quality locally sourced ingredients in a corporate gift box that connect the companies with employees or clients. The problem is that corporate gifts are boring and unemotional, so they don't help building any relationship with employees or clients. Indeed, according to Sears in Forbes, most of the $242 billion spent every year does not yield a meaningful return. So the solution is easy. With Makaturo, your clients or employees get the experience of a full Italian meal in a, in a box, making the bond not just stronger, but memorable. Each box contains a full three courses meal for four people based on typical and certificate product. Makaturo is also an experience proposition, so let's try to imagine a continuum from slow to slowest experience. You can help yourself by tutorial and recipes, combine a training course with our chefs and master testers, and you can discover the place of origin and the companies that produce our ingredients. We operate at the intersection of these two big markets. The $242 billion corporate gift and the $16 billion milk kit. And in that, we are targeting the 360,000 companies in the US with more than 100 employees and the marketing budget. Both verticals are growing. Milk kit market is growing double digit during the pandemic, and it's in desperate need of excitement. Corporate gift market issue is growing 8%. And we are focusing on corporate gift because we know that the average expenditure for corporate gift is between 19 and $150 for clients. We have a tight timeline. We are already selling and closing contracts this year, and we will launch new boxes in Q1 with the goal of reaching $340,000 by the end of Q3. Go-to-market strategy is well defined with a B2B demand generation, tailored events, and advertising. Makaturo positioning is a high engagement B2B experience that differentiates itself with high quality locally sourced product. We have a strong team with several years of experience in food, travel, and logistics. My name is Noemi. I'm the export manager for Makaturo. Feel free to contact me. Thank you for your attention. And if you want to know what is inside the box, just scan the QR code and try the experience. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Noemi. Um, when disruptive technologies bridge into legacy markets, like in this case, luxury jewelry, they create opportunities for positive change for both brands and consumers. This company 
patented a technology that can permanently connect products and the rightful owner. Here is Avel from Inspired Rain. That is synonymous. Okay, hi, my name is Avel and I'm the founder and CEO of Inspiring. Inspiring operates in the realm of luxury jewelry in a market worth $80 billion industry that is synonymous with eternal value and beauty. But also it's an industry that is under a very high pressure. On one hand, we are seeing mining industry that have raised serious concern about exploitations. On the other, we have counterfeit and secondhand markets that are causing brands to lose billions of dollars per year. Consumer demands a change. Trust has become a key buying factor and a proof of authenticity and transparency that is today a must. The luxury sector is struggling to truly guarantee authenticity of their product. And like here we are seeing Aura is the collaboration between uh, El Buen Manche, Prada and Cartier that is a blockchain consortium but it can only partially solve the problem. Like we all know, it is impossible to permanently embed critical information like sourcing, ownership, and certification within a piece of jewelry. Even to use a blockchain, there is no physical connection between the object and the rightful owner. So no matter how well all intentions and actions are, a permanent and secure authentication mechanism does not yet exist. Well, that is exactly what Inspiring does. After two years of research and development that allows critical product information to uniquely and physically link to a specific piece of jewelry forever. Inspiring permanently embedded a unique product identification within a piece of jewelry using a microfused RFID chip and all the information around certification, ownership are now saved securely on the blockchain. Access through our platform permitting to connect business to business and consumer. To prove that we can really scale, we launch our own branded responsibility source luxury jewelry line. We can now offer a smart manufacturing blueprint to other luxury brands. Our business to business service platform will be launched during 2022. Our branded lines prove that we can embed RFID technology into pieces as small as panel on your right side. Our full collections today has four lines that contains over 250 products already distributed over 17 luxury stores across Italy. Since our launch before summer, we got excellent press coverage with all major fashion magazines featuring and praising the unique solution for the sustainability and innovation that we're bringing to the market. On the business side, we are already engaging with the most influential industry associations, and we have a very clear list of target customers for the technology side who are sensitive to a more responsible sourcing and transparency. And we have a super strong team to pull this off. Myself, I have over 20 years of experience in IoT and smart technologies, and we do combine domain expertise and luxury industry connections. We're looking for 1.5 million investment to platform development operations and marketing and for distribution for the US market. But I'm also very excited to announce that after two months of a very long due diligence, we're closing equity investment with Italia government through Ministry of Economy and Finance over 800,000 euros. And we had also a lot of interest to upstream parties that we are signing the first B2B contract. So if you're interested to, uh, to turn luxury business into the precious and undeniable force of good, let's connect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pavel. Um, this new company found an underserved vertical and built a solution for it. It's the best foundation of a successful business, especially when the vertical they impact, travel and accommodation is about to get back to his multi-billion dollar splendor. Here is Marco from B2Book.
Hi, I'm Marco, CEO of B2Book. B2Book is unlocking vacation rentals for leading travel platforms. I'm talking about a huge market, currently dominated by a few OTA companies. I'm sure everybody knows Airbnb, Booking.com, and TripAdvisor. What is less known is that there are, there, there, are, there are a lot of companies, travel companies, that they are not uh, offering vacation rentals, but they are looking to offer that kind of product due to increased consumer demand. This is where B2Book comes in. We aggregate vacation rentals directly from property suppliers and distribute them to travel companies via API integration. In this way, we allow property managers to find the new and alternative distribution channel and allow travel companies to offer a product their customers are asking for, especially now in the post-COVID era. As I said, the market is quite huge. It's a product in constant growth. A turnover of over $100 billion is expected in 2026. We are a B2B marketplace for vacation rental. It means that we connect property suppliers with all the B2B market, from the retail travel agent to the biggest player of the market, like OTAs and wholesaler. B2Book is also in constant growth. In a short time, we have acquired a portfolio of about 100,000 properties. We expect to reach 300,000 that generate a net revenue of $30 million in two years' time. Our business model is quite simple. The property supplier decides how much commission to give to the buyer. B2B gives the greatest advantage to the travel platform, keeping a 5% service fee for itself. We have spent the last three years developing a differentiated product with our integration. In recent months, we have focused on concluding deals with important travel companies. I'm very pleased to announce here that we have just closed a very important partnership agreement with Trip.com, the fifth largest tourist platform in the world. We have the right team to capitalize on this opportunity. I've been personally working in the B2B travel industry for 22 years. The pandemic has certainly slowed down our business, but at the same time, it has given us back a much more appreciated product than it was in the past. As we come out of the pandemic, we are seeing incredible demand offering for our offering. It's clear that there is a huge gap in the distribution model of vacation rentals. Unlike the hotels, they are not yet accessible to all travel operators. We are raising 1 million. We'll use the funds for, to continue building the product and for business development. This is definitely the right time to invest in a fast growing sector. Arriving first means taking the largest slices of the market. Thanks a lot for your attention. Thank you, Marco. Uh, very good job. An inventor and a businessman are working together to solve a critical safety problem in many high risk industries. The clever solution they found is at the same time simple to implement, but technologically very complex, but ultimately it can literally save many lives. Here is Massimiliano from Defendo. Hi, my name is Massimiliano Santoni and I, the CTO for Defendo a tech company focusing on worker safety. Every 99 minutes a work in the US dies of a fatal accident. On top of tragic loss of life, companies lose more than $171 billion and this number is growing too fast. After talking with several executives in different high risk industries, we understood that the main pain point for worker safety, the danger of missing critical alerts and warning is real. Most of the current alert systems still rely on sirens and lights that can be easily missed because of wearing ear protection equipment or operating in noisy, low visibility or other critical environments. The Fendo developed a platform that connects and manages patented wearable devices with a network of IoT sensors to send real-time alerts when operating in critical safety conditions. There was a need for a critical direct link between alerts and workers. Defendo created that link.
Our first target, are our high critical vertical like manufacturing, oil and gas, and mining, where we already have a base solution to offer. The Fendo IoT platform and wearables work together to get data from the field using a proprietary mesh network sensors, warning people with haptic feedback. The mesh network detects the danger, bounces the signal to the wearables, and workers feel the vibration. Then, in a glimpse, they take a look to the display where an immediate message tells what's going on. And we can also send everything to the cloud and to cooperative system via our APIs. Our technology, paired with smart wearables, can also monitor workers and parameters, provide the location even when our Wi Fi or GPS signals are off. The industrial Internet of Things market is growing rapidly with a cadre of 23%, and it's expected to reach $1 trillion in 2028. Our advantage relies on three patents proprietary sensor network, a highly customizable technology, and the possibility to easily adapt the software to many different industries. Our revenue model is straightforward. We provide target solution or easily customized one. Our team has deep domain expertise in IoT, wearables and engineering, owing several patents in different fields. We tested our wearables smart device selling 400 pieces in five countries. And now through our Nexo, we are starting B2B platform sales. After closing a round of 200,000 euros last year, we are now raising 1.5 million primarily for starting operations scale to the US market. Thank you for your attention. I'm Martina Santoni, and I will be in the room for your questions. Thank you, Max. Um, tracking the life of a luxury car is a problem that several companies are trying to solve. Using the blockchain and RFID sensors, this company solved it by not just creating a digital twin of the car or the asset, but also adding all the milestones of its physical life. Here is Marco from MyLine. Everybody, and thank you, Simone, for the great introduction. I'm Marco Simone, and I'm customer application engineer of MyLine. Do you think that customers are willing to pay more for greater supply chain transparency? According to MIT Sloan School of Management, the answer is yes. Customers may be willing to pay 2% to 10% more for products from companies that provide greater supply chain transparency. This means in the case of a luxury card, an amount of 30,000 euros more than the actual price where MyLime comes in. MyLime is the leading patented blockchain-based tracking platform that preserves and increases the value of objects over time. MyLime stands for My Limited Edition. This is our market size. As you can see, we have a serviceable obtainable market of about $10 million, which includes two Italian brands from the supercar industry and two Italian brands from the motorbike industry. Our patented technology allow us to create the updatable digital passport of the product, manage their information throughout their life cycle from the production to the final customer, make this information safe and inviolable through blockchain technology. In this way, we guarantee the traceability, authenticity and ownership of the products preserving their value over time. Our asset digitalization process consists of four steps. Entry point definition, touch point definition, digital register, and digital vault. We work B2B, and we have already revenues in the mobility market. We started in the automotive sector because of the great expertise of our team in this field. And because automotive is one of the most of the most complex sector from the product point of view. As a matter of fact, we launched the smart windshield project with San Goben, one of our clients, at CES 2019 in Las Vegas. This is our platform dashboard, and as you can see, it is extremely user friendly. This is our amazing team, 
our co-founders are specialized in their field. As a matter of fact, Elena Moya holds a master's degree in luxury goods management. And Alfredo Reboa has 17 years of experience in the automotive field and has been the innovation and benchmarking responsible of Maserati. Here you can see our most recent success. We have created an updatable digital passport for all Colsnagos bikes. The first bike to be registered on the blockchain will be the one, the one used by the winner of the last two Tour de France, Tadej Pogacar. We are currently backed by some angel investors and we are looking for an A round of about 1.2 million euros. Feel free to contact me for more information and really thank you for your attention. Thank you, Marco. Um, we take care of plants since the beginning of time, yet most of us are terrible at it and I'm one of them. This company uses artificial intelligence and smart devices to save us from keep buying and killing indoor plants. Here is Francesco from Garden Stealth. Thank you, Simone. My name is Francesco Tirinanti. I'm the CEO and founder of Garden Stuff, a tech on gardening company. Indoor plants improve wellness, but it's not easy to see them grow as we'd like to. An astonishing 78% of all indoor plants die and get replaced every year. Garden Stuff developed Helio, a unique smart on gardening device to simplify the integration of plants in our buildings. Based on smart IoT technology, Elliot starts analyzing the environment around itself and suggests the perfect match plant environment. And this is just the start. Throughout the life of your plant, Elliot analyzes its environment and suggests the best way to take care of it so it can grow healthy. Elliot detects all the different light frequencies, scan temperature and air humidity, ranking each micro environment and showing a suitable list of plants ready to buy from our e-commerce platform. It also has specific sensors as soil moisture and pH sensor to integrate with the current data environment, making the cultivation simple and exciting. Everything is connected with the net, making the process easy and engaging, a stronger confidence in choosing and buy plants, saving time and thousands of plants. With our technology, people will buy 400% more plants than before, simply because they can enjoy them and they are more confident about indoor cultivation in an environment that is more adaptable for plants than we would ever imagine. And the best is that we will be able to upset easily plants and gardening accessories using the app and through our commerce platform. Our patented products are already selling all over Europe and we are expanding worldwide with this new patented line of products to capture a portion of the $300 billion indoor IoT industry opportunity, a market that grows 20% year over year. In the US alone, we could increase up to four times the $13 billion spent every year on indoor plants by the US household. Our business has three layers. We have a successful e-commerce platform where we sell to dare to consumer with amazing unit economies. We have a strong B2B model where we sell to distributor and retail chains with great margins. With Elliot, we sell a subscription service where the end user pays a premium to manage multiple devices and get customized guidance and smart predictive alert. We have an incredible team to do the work. I'm Francesco, I'm the founder and CEO. I have a background in industrial chemistry and I work in operation and logistics and over 20 years of experience as an entrepreneur. Our team comes from all over the world and covers all the strategic cars. And now it's the beginning of a very fast execution. The introduction of our IoT technology also for landscapers and architects and the launch of our disruptive new product, IoT Zonal Predictive Gardener. Now we have the knowledge, amazing products, and we know the market. This is the moment to invest in urban green with our technology. My name is Francesco Terinanci, I am the founder of Garden Stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Francesco. Uh, our last company, uh, the world of institutional investor and private credit market seems organized and full of technology, at least from the outside. This company, led by an insider, knows is not and created a platform that gives them a clear and complete view of their portfolios, saving them hours of work and millions in potential errors. It is Altin from Cardo AI. 
Hi, hi everyone. Thanks, Simone, for the introduction. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Card AI. Uh, while working at uh, BlackRock, I figured out that the global private debt market has become, as you can see from the graph, a very interesting investment opportunity. Only in 2020 alone reached 850 billion, with a projected growth in the next five years of 11.4%. Uh, however, looking inside this market and the way these actors operate on a daily basis, we can see very old processes, very slow ones and full with errors. So everyday risk managers, compliance officers, portfolio managers, operation people would connect, share data and take decisions using only Excel files, PDF documents or Word documents. So for us, this was an aha moment, right? So a time where we could find a solution and this is what we did. So we developed a software that allows everyone across uh, this asset class to interact with each other, share standardized data, take better decision. And as you can see on the right side of the slide, achieve very uh, important benefits such as 35% less time and cost and 85% uh, less time using more data in a data-driven decision making process, increasing trust of uh, external investors and having less errors on your computations and uh, calculations. Our action plan has started with SME credit, so small medium enterprise credit. We will evolve with consumer and real estate credit into what we have targeted the $25 billion of, uh, 25 billion uh, euros of target by 2023. Our current clients are mainly asset managers and banks, both small and big. And we are targeting uh, other uh, type of clients such as pension funds or insurance companies. Uh, our business model is a SaaS business model. Uh, we sell technology and data science to the previous, previously mentioned clients. As of today, we have already signed an annual rec uh, recurring revenue of 1.3 million um, by the end of 2021, and we are on track to reach 1.5. In 2022 and 2023, we are aiming to reach 3.5 and uh, 7.8 uh, million euros. In terms of team, we are very happy to have composed 52 uh, very um, experienced people um, with different profiles, such as investment managers, engineers, and data scientists, distributed in three offices in London, Milan, and Tirana. Um, and today, I'm here to uh, find out if uh, new partners or clients could come on board and uh, receive the same benefits that we have seen other clients like institutional investors, asset managers, and banks could receive, as well as to complete our Series A round of 5 million euros, which has already been subscribed by 70%. We will use this money to create sales and marketing team to launch new products such as ESG scoring and uh, uh, private equity reporting, and to open up new offices such as uh, the ones in New York and Singapore. So thank you very much for your time and your attention. And here are all my contacts in case you want to reach out to me. Thanks a lot. Fantastic, great job to all of the startups. Uh, and that concludes our pitch event, uh, all the presentations, but now we'll be moving all of the members of the audience to breakout rooms. And so um, for everyone who's pre-selected their companies, we'll be putting you in those rooms. And for everyone who did not have the chance to do that, don't worry, I have you covered. Just hang tight. Um, there will be some screen changes, but as long as you just sit uh, tight, we will make sure everyone is in a breakout room. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ma dove sono le breakout room? Hi. Uh...
trivia. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Hey. Someone has got to the Chantal. Please say, say thanks for a very forth in talking with us. She was talking, but we were rerouted here. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Um, all right. Is everyone back? Okay, perfect. So everyone's back in the main room. I hope you all enjoyed getting to meet some of the startups. Um, and we are so happy to conclude this event. I hope everyone feels great because the startups all did a great job. Um, after, we will send out the recordings. We'll send out the company information. Um, and I hope that everyone has a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And ciao. Yep. Good, good job, everybody.